Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. This week we are going to do what's for dinner. All low carb dump and go crock pot meals that are super simple, that are literally just dump and go, that your family will love, that you will love. No making multiple meals. All of these are, uh, how many times can I say simple? We might need to turn this into a drinking game, but so simple dump and go let's just jump right into it y'all i have a few really really great and really really easy recipes tonight we are going to make a crock pot meal it is going to be an orange chicken like an asian style orange chicken and broccoli in the crock pot and then we're going to serve it with a fried collie rice or real fried rice for my family so let's jump into it this is an easy like seriously easy dump and go recipe never made it before i found a recipe which i'll link down below for y'all and then i modified the heck out of it but i'll walk you through it let's do it real quick this is frozen chicken breast i'm not even thawing it this Lanuba orange, no added sugar, marmalade. This is about two pounds of chicken. I'm gonna go in with half of this jar of marmalade. We're gonna go in with Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. This is only two net carbs per serving. You could get any kind of sugar-free barbecue sauce. If you're not doing low carb, you could do regular orange marmalade and regular barbecue sauce. We're just gonna do about half a bottle of each. We're gonna stir that up just a little bit. This is the extent of what we're doing. We're gonna turn this on four hours on high and just let it go. We'll probably check it in a couple hours and break the chicken up a little bit and redistribute, but y'all, how much simpler does that get? I actually decided to add a few red crushed pepper flakes because my parent, my parents, <laughs> my family, my parents too, like a little bit of spice. So not a ton, but I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that around. All right. I am just going to add just about two tablespoons of this. I just think that's going to be really good. I always say I'm going to follow a recipe exactly and then I never do. So we're going to start with this. We're going to put the top on. We'll come back in about two hours and mix it up again. Here's about two hours in and I'm just going to kind of, it's not ready to shred yet, but I'm just kind of breaking it apart because remember how this was completely like one big frozen piece of chicken. We're two hours in. I'm going to go ahead and dump a big thing of broccoli but we're just gonna stir it around in here to do like a Asian chicken and broccoli type thing. I really, really think this is gonna give off those vibes. So I don't like to put the broccoli in immediately because it'll get too soft, but I think this is probably gonna take about another hour. We're gonna do four hours on low, but I'll check this in about half an hour. The broccoli is soft. The chicken seems to be cooked through. Sorry for the bright light behind me. Hold on, let's taste some more sauce. Okay, that sauce is pretty good. I taste the orange, I taste the barbecue, I taste a little bit of the soy sauce. Um, it is definitely not spicy. I'm gonna add in a few more ingredients. So let me just show you. This is really about ready to eat. I'm gonna take some sesame oil just add a little bit. I just really want this to taste more Asian and it's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna take some vinegar. You could do rice wine vinegar. I'm just doing a little bit of white wine vinegar cause that's just what I had. I would really suggest white um, rice wine vinegar. Lastly, this gochujang Korean chili sauce. It is not super, super low carb. It's too, carbs per teaspoon but we are not going to use a ton this is about eight servings worth of food here so i'm going to go in with about four teaspoons of that last thing i'm going to add is just a little bit of fish sauce probably about a teaspoon that barely comes out when you shake it we're going to stir this back around i'm going to have this on warm until people are ready to eat it I'm not gonna shred the chicken any more than this. I feel like it's in pretty small pieces and we're gonna serve this over cauliflower rice or regular rice for the family and I think this is gonna be delicious. And this was such an easy hands-off meal. I will link the original recipe down below and I will try and remember to give you the 
changes that I made to make it a little bit more Asian, a little bit less sweet. This is actually super delicious, y'all. And we are just going to cook up some Costco cauliflower rice. This bag here that comes from Costco. You could totally do, I have like some rice in my refrigerator from the kids and I could totally turn that into like a fried rice, which I actually may do, although they like this pretty well. Love, love, love dump and go crock pot meals. If I really wanted to, I could have thrown this into the crock pot as well and just have it all blended together. But my kids are gonna like it better serving this on the side and then scooping all of that sauce over top of it. I just literally have it over almost like a medium high because I wanna kind of fry it up in that avocado oil. You could use any kind of oil that you choose. Try and choose a healthy oil, avocado oil, beef tallow, bacon fat, any of those kind of things. really letting it leave it alone and get really crispy and then I'll flip it and get even crispier. I don't know if you can see this but it is nice and crispy and browned up just like real fried rice y'all. Yum. All those super yummy Asian flavors they are so good y'all so good y'all that was so good caroline just had some and said that it was really good it's obviously not like fried orange chicken asian orange chicken but it's a low carb orange chicken and it was so good so good i just stuffed my face before i showed it to y'all my food is gone it was that good and caroline enjoyed it and said she'll probably have seconds so I think it was a winner. This was a winner. Of course, I always find a recipe and then I change so much, but I will link the original recipe down below and then y'all will see the different things that I changed about it. So, all right, I will see you tomorrow for the next What's For Dinner. We're doing all things crock pot this week. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have another great crock pot meal. It's gonna be mushrooms and beef tips and onions in a gravy and it is going to be so delicious. Let me show you. All right, so we're going to put our inner liner into our crock pot. This is an all clad crock pot. I am obsessed with this crock pot. I will leak it, link it. Not leak it, I'll leak it to you. I'll link it down below. So we have all of this in here. And the next thing we're going to do, this is so simple, y'all. We're gonna take some beef broth. I got these as a PR package, this, the Built Bars, with this Built Broth, and it's got collagen powder in it and up to 10 grams, not up to, 10 grams of protein. The ingredients are pretty clean. It's gluten-free, all natural bone broth. So what I did was I combined this bone broth and this Primal Palette French Onion Seasoning Mix. I got this from Thrive Market. I had never used it before, but I love that it's non-GMO and gluten-free. There's no extra bad ingredients. But y'all, when I open this, it's like green. And I think it's because the ingredients are onion, pink salt, garlic, chives, and parsley. And I think the chives and parsley made it green. So what I did was I took my beef broth and my, my beef broth and my French onion soup. I put it in this measuring cup here because it said I was supposed to do 14 ounces of beef broth for this recipe. By the way, I will link the original recipe down below for y'all. But look, it's like green, which is kind of strange. But anyways, I took the 14 ounces of water that it said and added that beef broth. And then I added the French onion soup mix. So we're gonna add all of that in. So that's number one. It looks like we have a little bit of garlic in there we wanna get out. Okay, the recipe did not call for mushrooms, but I love mushrooms with my beef tips. I have these dried mushrooms from Costco. So I am just gonna take some of these dried mushrooms and you don't have to rehydrate them because in the Instant Pot or the Crock Pot, they're gonna be 
in liquid so they're gonna rehydrate themselves so I'm just gonna push all of these down in here and make sure my mushrooms are covered really really well this is just like one medium onion I just sliced it real thin I'm actually thinking of doing one more onion actually I'm not sure and then this was all this recipe calls for y'all know me I tend to add I tend to do more than things call for do things a little bit differently and I am just feeling like I want to season this up a little bit more so okay what I'm feeling is that I want to bump up the flavor a little bit so I'm gonna take two bay leaves drop it down in there I'm gonna take my salt free Italian herbs fresh jacks this is just Italian seasoning and we're gonna go on with about a tablespoon of that and then I'm gonna take my W sauce I think it's called Worcestershire that's how I say it anyways I, I know everybody says it differently and I'm probably gonna put about a tablespoon of that in there and we're gonna give this one more stir and that is what we are gonna go with I just felt like it needed a little bit a little bit more you know all right y'all we are gonna do this on high for four hours and I think that is gonna be plenty I'll probably check it two and a half or so stir it and see what it's looking like but this is what I'm thinking all right y'all this has been four hours on high here is what it's looking like. It looks pretty delicious. Make sure that you pull those bay leaves out because nobody wants to eat those. But other than that, this is ready to serve on cauli rice or regular rice or mashed potatoes. All right, y'all, let's taste this. Mm. It's a little, it's really good. It's a little bit on the salty side. I think maybe that bone broth or the French onion soup mix that I put in may have had a little bit of salt and maybe I added a little bit too much salt in addition. I love salt. This is a tiny bit salty, so if you're gonna follow my recipe with this, maybe just watch the extra salt content, but it's, it's delicious. It's so good. I just wanted to show y'all one other option for dinner. This is for someone, if you're eating the steak tips for your family and you don't wanna eat rice or potatoes but you have potatoes i made some baked potatoes it's really really easy to make a main dinner and then make a super easy side or two for family that doesn't necessarily eat low carb so but it's still giving them whole foods right so just wanted to share that for dinner tonight, we're gonna do another crock pot meal. This is seriously a dump and go, so easy. We're gonna use this Mike's Organic Tiki Masala Mix. This stuff is amazing. I get it on Thrive Market. We're gonna use an entire, actually probably half, half a can of organic coconut milk and an entire thing of cauliflower. This is just whole frozen cauliflower. I'm gonna put it in frozen and then This has been in here for about four hours. I just took out a piece of chicken and it separates just with squishing with a fork. It's nice and tender. The cauliflower is tender. However, I think I should have stuck with my original plan of just doing half a can of coconut. I feel like I diluted the flavor down a little more than I wanted to. I don't think I've ever used a whole can of coconut before. It still tastes really good, but it doesn't have that super, super rich, potent tiki masala. And that was my fault. I should have just done a little bit of coconut and not the whole can. Here is the piece that I tasted. See how it's just mashing up super, super easily. This is so tender. And I just scooped a little bit of sauce on it when I tasted it. Super delicious. It really is super delicious. Just a little less 
strength to the tiki masala compared to what I prefer and I know it normally has. For dinner tonight, we're gonna make buffalo chicken sandwiches in the crock pot. I make buffalo chicken dip, but I've never made like just shredded buffalo chicken sandwiches. So what we're gonna need is obviously chicken and it calls for Frank's Red Hot wing sauce. All that is is Frank's Red Hot plus butter. So we're gonna take some Red Hot plus butter. We're gonna add some ranch right onto our chicken. Okay, y'all, you could totally melt your butter, but I, mine is really soft, and it's all gonna mix together eventually. So, probably would do an entire stick of butter, but I have about three-fourths of a stick. We're gonna go with 12 ounces of hot sauce. And then we're gonna go in with about two tablespoons of ranch. This is the ranch that I like to use. It is three in one clean and simple ingredients. It does not have any of the crap, any of the fillers, any of the extra gunk that regular McCormick Ranch has or many other flavors of ranch that you can find. This is the cleanest one I've been able to find. There's no MSG, no any of that yucky stuff. So I buy this. This is what I've been using. And the recipe says that this is all you do. We're gonna put the top on. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a coleslaw to go with this. I'm gonna serve this on hoagie rolls for the kids and they can put coleslaw on the side or on the sandwich. For me, I am just gonna eat it with pork rind. been about half the time y'all and I can see that a lot of the ranch dressing is still just kind of sitting on the top so I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stir. We are just going to let this keep going. It says it's got about an hour and a half. I think that should be plenty. So this chicken is definitely done. I'm just going to take my meat grinder that I use usually with ground beef and I'm just going to shred all of this up and then this is gonna be buffalo chicken sandwiches on hoagies for the kids. And they can add blue cheese or they can add regular cheese, but I know this is gonna be a winner. I know this is something every single one of them is going to really, really enjoy. Just put a couple slices of provolone cheese in there. That's what Jack picked. And that is gonna be sandwich number one. I'm guessing he'll probably have two, but such an easy dinner. Jason was just telling me his thoughts on this buffalo chicken. I've not made it this particular way before. It so what do you think? Amazingly good. I actually put pounds on blue cheese dressing and like put some of that on it. That's it what was, I was thinking would be good. Oh my gosh, what did you do to this sauce? It is like it's literally just Franks and butter and ranch. So that's it's really it, just that's kind of it. Our, our wing sauce. You yeah. Add some ranch uh huh. To it. Yeah. Wow. So good, is. right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought wow. the blue cheese would be perfect well, with Well, I got it. excited because I saw the buns. I'm like, oh, you must have made cheese steaks in yeah. the crock pot. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> better than cheese steaks? Wow. I mean. We'll, we'll probably do cheese steaks next week, but so drop and go casserole, no, drop and go crock pot week. How's it been going so far flavor wise, you think? Flavor wise is great it, and they're super easy. Like we add rice or a bun to it, but it's all just protein really in the crock pot. I thought yesterday we could have used some vegetables with the tiki marsala. I was missing that. Some it was full. It was full of cauliflower. No, I like to have the broccoli on put the it side off, over top of oh, it. You know? Okay. Well, but we could have done that. We yeah, had some. Yeah, but nobody else eats it, so okay. I'm, I have to make them. So. Okay. But well, it was all delicious. All I love right. This Good. I'm glad. And then you know, of course, I made this whole entire crock pot <laughs> full. And my kids ended up going to my parents for the night. Okay, but okay this will reheat just fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this will reheat just fine. All of my kids will like this. It's too spicy for mama. Did you use the sauce? I the... really didn't expect it to be that spicy because uh -huh. Frank's is not usually spicy. I just used the regular Frank's Red Hot and added butter to it and ranch. But it is a little spicy, so I won't be having that. But we have plenty of leftovers from all of these dump and go recipes over the week, so no problem. There'll be plenty of stuff for me to eat. 
So y'all, that is the end of our dump and go crock pot week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. It was simple. Like it could not have been any simpler dump and go. And that's it. It was awesome y'all. Everybody liked it. Everybody was happy. Super easy to make simple sides like potatoes or rice or just more vegetables for the family. It's so easy to do low carb and not make multiple meals. It really is. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again really soon.